Take three. I have my AirPods open in my handbag. Hello everyone. I am just going to check that my audio is working. Otherwise, I may just need to give up today. Um, just let me refresh here and make sure I am all live and see if people are going to join. Hold on one second. Going to join. Hooray! Hooray! I all fixed it! Yay, yay, yay! Now I have my... It's okay. All good. Hello everyone. Hello Marjean. This is take three. I had some audio issues and then I remembered that I had my AirPod open in my handbag and it was stealing the audio. Hey Marjean. Yes, much better. Thank you, Laurie. Thank you. Thank you. Lucky my brain went ka-chink. So, Happy Tuesday. I've had a very busy morning. Two medical appointments for Owen so far with one more to go today. Uh, we're doing some um, treatment uh, for his legs. Hey, Joanna. Um, and we're going to be doing this all school holiday, so it's going to be lots of fun. Thank you, Linda. I'm glad it's better. Hey, Mr. Linda. So, my name is Ellen Woodbridge. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. I am here to be your creative coach for how to use your Stampin' Up! products. I also sell Stampin' Up! products here in Australia. Oh, Sammy, that's awesome. Yes, happy 4th of July to all my American friends. It is not the 4th of July here. It is the 5th. Um, oh, I know, Sylvia, it's awesome. Hey, Corinne. Um, it's now the 5th of July, but I hope you're having lovely and safe celebrations. Um, and yeah, so today, hey Joanne, today I have the brand new Hippest Hippo set. And this is a set that you can earn for free as part of our celebration catalogue. So for every $90 you spend in Australia, you can get... This stamp set for free and there is also a coordinating die set that you can earn for free for $90 as well. Hello Miss Heidi. Um, and I have dug out my use it up box. Yes, there are two there. Um, to see, oh thank you Sunny. Um, to see what we can do. So I've grabbed out two of... Disca not discarded, leftover, hey Liz, uh, backgrounds from two of my latest cards and tell me which one we should use with the hippos, whether we should use the sun rays or whether we should use the flowers. So tell me sun rays or flowers because I am on a bit of a time crunch and I'm not sure I'll get to making two cards but I'll go with the... The first couple of posts that I'll receive. So this was the background for the flower. This was the original card that I made with the flower background and this is the original card I made with the rays. I want to know when they took my picture of me to model this. Delinda, Delinda, no! Oh mind you I could say the same thing but anyway so we're getting sun rays. We are getting... Please bear with me. David, could you please come turn voice... Oh, no. I think we might be right. No, 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 it's okay. I'm not touching any buttons, so voiceover was quiet. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, let's see, let's see. Sun Rays is winning. Voiceover. David loves voiceover. David uses voiceover a bazillion times a day. Um, and I accidentally turn it on all the time. And I've got a chat going. 
and every time they talk in the chat voiceover talks so we're just going to put up with voiceover because i couldn't turn it off quickly and we are going to go get going on some hippest hippos and i'm thinking of making a baby card because my neighbor is overdue um i haven't seen today if she has had her baby and she's having a baby girl so i thought we might be able to use this little hippo here to make a baby girl card and i think the sun rays might work i think i need to mute it down i'm going to show you i have no idea how to mute down that yellow because i'd like to make it a little more subtle a little more subtle hey yvonne let me see if i can see everyone's comments and i can yay so let's flip around and get started on this cute baby card because i have a feeling we're going to be adding in a couple of things because i swear the other day i saw a really cute um baby sentiment that we can use hello miss linda how are you and i need to flip that screen Yes, that's exactly right, Linda. You know exactly what I'm going to use. Okay, whoops. Popping up screens here when I don't want to. I'll go turn off my overhead light and I'll be back. Well, I wasn't even thinking of a smoosh as such. Oh, maybe I do need to zoom out just a titch. Come on, zoom out, please. There we go. Is that, that should be good. I'm hoping. If not so, what I actually want while I'm standing here is my Whisper White blending, or my white blending brush and can't resist a bit of purple so I don't know if I'm going to use it but I'm going to have it out it's going to be there for some inspiration I'm thinking 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 of things that I can use on this card and of course I want to make it personalized but I also want to have a card ready to rock and roll when they have the baby or when she has the baby because however much we love the men in our lives they don't do the heavy listing i could use vellum oh sylvia let me check what vellum looks like first because you know what that may be the quickest and easiest solution so i do does that do everything I want it to? And do you know what? It kind of doesn't. But I may be doing a combination of both. So let me just... I'm going to try this. And if all else fails, I'll just chuck it over the top. Oh, congratulations, Linda. That's very, very exciting. So... I know I haven't got a whole lot of ink on this, but ah, uh, yes, that, oh my word, yes, that is exactly what I wanted. So can you see, just with that light application, I have muted that colour right down. So I'll bring it up nice and tight for you to see, and I shall continue just and i'm literally slapping on this ink and it really is because this is i want to say this is crushed curry maybe i'm not sure but i think we can use vellum in other ways on this project so i'm literally that's not blending it's slapping down perfect 
I will next time I want to use this need to re-ink this ink pad because it is now after doing quite a few white um, white ink techniques it is getting quite um, dry but it's actually almost the perfect tackiness for what I want to do this oh, except I keep on putting my fingers on it so I'm taking the white ink off that is exactly what I envisaged perfect so now that's going to go really really nicely with our little just going to pop this one off to the side for our little ballerina hippo with that I think I am going to okay ballerina hippo and I don't think any of these sentiments quite work for a baby card but the image works perfectly basic white scraps and i have the perfect size here so has everyone taken advantage yet of celebration and the amazing products that are available Oh, yes, it does, Sunny. That's why when you buy your white ink, it does come with a re-inker. And it actually comes uninked. Hey, Roz. Sorry I missed you in all the congratulations. Hello, Miss Kay. Thank you, Delinda, for saying hello to everyone. So, new stamp means I just run my fingers over it so the ink doesn't pull up you can also rub it on a pair of jeans i'm not wearing jeans today it is where well, actually my region has been classified as a natural disaster um, we've had lots of rain and flooding again we are safe we are not in one of those flood zone areas so we are totally fine now that's stamped perfectly first time so i have used memento ink because i am going to grab just grabbed out a little container if i needed it i'm going to grab our smoky slate blends and do we use highland heather or fresh freesia for the purple tutu and the point shoes so I am going to go in and just pop in some dark areas so just where a little hippo is going to be the darkest And kind of just a titch down there. Now, while I think of it, I am going to put some pink on the inside of her ears. Heather is your go to purple, is it, Sunny? Look, I, if I had Gorgeous Grape, I would definitely be going Gorgeous Grape. But Heather works really, really well. Or I could do Orchid Oasis. Because I do forget that it's a purple. Now what I'm actually thinking of doing here is using Grey Granite for the belly and the snout. So it's a slightly different grey. It is more of a bit of a grey brown, but it does just make the slightest differentiation, big words today, um, between the belly and the snout. 
Sorry if you can hear Owen calling Louisa in the background. He's come home and had a big long shower because he is getting some treatment for his legs which includes being in casts. So he hasn't got broken legs but um, he's in casts and they're doing some stretching of his um, muscles which is great but um, yeah today we also saw his podiatrist so he has a reprieve for a couple of hours which means a full shower rather than just a sponge bath okay so you can see here the snout and the belly are just a little bit different you can see here this shading has worked really really nicely naturally so I'm going to go in with this is my smoky slate light and oh we can give her painted fingernails how cute will that be and then we're going to use the coordinating dies to cut her out oh, I went a bit into the white of the eyes that's okay that's what the color lift is for to fix all my mistakes just need a bit of blending here I'm thinking that looks pretty good I can see I need a little bit of blending here on the snout this is the light or the nose Oh, I forgot the ears. I forgot the ears. Okay, so this is the light. I'm going to go in with my chisel end or my bullet end and just grab these ears. And I'm just leaving the pink of the ears because that looks really cute. Take oh, something. Oh, the vellum just fell on the floor. Grab the colour lifter and just going to... Now it's called a colour lifter and it kind of does lift. But what it really actually does is it pushes the um, ink that I don't want in the white of the eye deeper into the fibers of the paper okay so what color nails a touch of pink well what in the nose in the nostrils hello miss alicia how are you use petal pink over the gray mm, okay petal pink let me grab petal pink. It would only be on the snout though, like on the actual nose. Oh, yes. That does make a difference. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you for that tip, guys. I love that because it's different colored to the ears so I use light floaty flamingo on the inside of the ears probably a bit bright but that's okay so what color I'm going to use we said Highland Tether for the shoes and the tutu what color are we going to use on the nails so Because you girls all know I'm a purple lover. Although, I'm not wearing purple today. Probably wearing, I'm wearing a deep burgundy pink. Which I also love. 
Okay. So I'm also going to try to put in some of these ruffles. So I'm going to try. Well, that's a bit dark, that end. I think we're going to have to go very, very lightly with this end. Well, which may be easier said than done. I think that's as good as that's kind of getting and I'm going to make the shoes in do you know what I'm going to use the bullet end they're going to be a bit darker the nails in purple you could just use the same as the light okay so we'll go for dark on the shoes Because it's all still the same colour and you girls are reckoning, or reckon, God, good Aussieisms today, the light on the nails. Okay. <gasps> she looks so cute. So, so, so cute. Okay. Do you know what I kind of want to do? Because this end is slightly darker on the light. So I'm just going to come in here. Sometimes this happens with the blends. When you're only opening one end, that end becomes lighter. Um, so I just kind of want to create these ruffles can you see what I'm kind of doing here creating the pleat where these ruffles would be and I'm actually just using the light the different ends of the light so I started off with one idea and I kind of didn't like it so we're just moving on to a slightly different idea now while this is still quite wet i'm going to go in and reinforce these lines because they will blend because they are ah perfect everything coordinates got the little petal pink in the snout as always I've used lots of colors and look I got out a basket for a reason I had to go to the um, two dollar shop and buy more baskets because I've used them all around the house <gasps> hello Miss J how are you we're we're playing we're making a baby card using the hippo because my neighbor is overdue for her baby girl sorry i'm just picking up my vellum that i dropped and trying not to slip off my chair at the same time because you know multi-talented right vellum's back up going to use the mini machine is that too wide no that's perfect okay so the mini stamp and cut emboss because all the dies that you can also get for free with the hippos they all fit through the mini machine the mini machine is so very very versatile and these dies are free with a $90 order and the stamp sets free with the $90 order there were also some really cute flowers in there but let's keeping an eye on the time as well I have eaten lunch which is a good thing so I need to leave in about half an hour 
so Ooh, I don't think I could have placed that any better if I tried I just kind of plopped it on there and it was in the right spot okay so crank her through see how she comes out this in the basket as well okay let's see how she came out ah perfect just like a bought one look at that so I wanted to kind of put her there because all the sun rays are coming out now in my use it up box from last project I have lots of vellum circles done with the stylish sheep styles. So, ah, even better. So we are still using the vellum. That's a bit cute. She will need to be grounded. Mm, that kind of doesn't work, but... I've got some purple butterflies here in the bottom. Just having a look at what I've got. Purple butterflies. I don't... I don't know. I don't know if a purple butterfly will work. Oh, that actually doesn't look half bad, does it? else do I have here in the bottom I don't think a yellow one will work although we can always pop it on or underneath or near and see no not really a bit too matchy matchy what are we thinking so cute I know she's fabulous I know I I'm lucky you're on the high side up there Jamie because the flooding up near where you are is pretty horrific I saw the photos that you shared and there were pretty much whole houses underwater which is um yeah just had so much rain this year so much rain okay definitely a yes to that butterfly I know it doesn't work, but it just works. Yes, um, I've got, I think it was in the Charming Sentiment set, which is why I'm leaving my mini machine out. So, so far, we have used Rays of Light, the Free Hippo set, I'm going to see what we have here. Baby's a blessing, so tiny, so precious. Congratulations. I think congratulations and then put the so tiny, so precious inside. And I could put another butterfly on the inside. The congratulate and I do have a matching die for the congratulations. And I think the matching die will, um, yes, let me, Jamie is right. I can definitely ground her on that. Oh, I wish we could give you rain, Corinne. I really, really, really do. But we can't unfortunately now let me flip through here my die oh jamie i used our last now oh because i'm too far away i'm just bringing my dies off to the side i used our last um our last whatchamacallit the other day our die pouch so I think I'm down to my final two after taking out some um, some retired things out of here. I went, no. It was a bit sad, actually. We had so much fun that day making these. Sentiment silhouettes. Here they are. 
So these are the matching dies to these sentiments. So <laughs> the fun thing is now I'm thinking the congratulations might actually be this one here. Let me have a look. Yep, that would be correct. So I definitely need a block for the congratulations. Otherwise, we are definitely going to lose that. Congratulations. Yes, well, um, our local dam, and I think Jamie can confirm this, has not been at full capacity probably since the 80s, and I mean early 80s, it over the both dams uh, where we get our water from overflowed this morning. I heard that on the radio. So um, we've lived on water restrictions for most of my life because I've grown up in this area and we've lived on those water restrictions most of it, um, especially in summer. Um, exactly, exactly, Jamie. I do hear you there. Um, I'm thinking a black sentiment just to, because I don't, we've got, those sun rays are like, whoa, in your face. Although we used white ink to dull them quite a lot, but we've got this black here. So if I used black on white, that would just bring us some peace, I think, in this. And where did I? I'm going to swap out to our stays on ink, I think, because we will just get a really nice just going to leave this sit for a few few seconds because if you let these longer sentiments sit they do naturally go into the configuration that they were designed to go in and that's pretty straight actually it doesn't look straight that's the problem must be maybe it's just me I could but Jamie I did say at the start of the video I am on a time hmm. I love to hate you Jamie I'm gonna do it but then it's too much black I need some more white in this because that background is so overwhelming but I do like your idea but I don't want that much black for a baby card. He's got his headphones on, David. Not listening to anything you say. Okay. I think I moved it. I didn't. And it looks pretty goddamn perfect. That is exactly how that's going to stay. Woohoo! Okay, bring back our mini stamp and cut and emboss here, and we're going to see how this lines up. So that is the curve of the C, and we're going to see if I can actually do this. If not, we can do another one, but I think I've got it. Okay. Crank this through. Ho -ho. Yes, I have done it perfectly. Although it does need to sit on something because it is a very, very thin sentiment. But I love that there was 
no fussy cutting involved at all. Hello, Miss Peggy. How are you? Right. So this card is definitely coming together. I know she's not in the right orientation just yet, but definitely want some connection here. And I can hear you screaming at me, Jamie, that her tutu needs wink. I'm hearing you. Um, let me see if I can see this. Hello, Miss Lorraine. You on your lunch break? Mm, you need something else behind it. And we did, we do, do you have some off cutty bits here? I know this is retired, they actually need to come out, but they're not long enough that they need to go in Ivy's box. Um, just seeing what else I have in here. Mm, that's a hang in there, but would. No. No, 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 no. Hang in there is not what we're after for a baby card. I'm going to see though if I have another butterfly for the inside. Mm, just seeing what I think for the other coloured butterflies that I have. Because these were going on another project and they never made that project. Okay, I really, really, truly don't think, I don't know, is the pink kind of doesn't work, or does it? No, it's too big. It's way, way, way too big. Bless you, Owen. I require a teacher. I think it's called a roll of paper because the shop didn't have any tissues. Are we high class? My son needs a tissue and I say have a roll of toilet paper. I'm all class, guys. All class. Okay. Let me grab up comments again. Sorry, I lost my comments. Not the pink. No ducks. No, you need ducks. No tissues or eggs. I got eggs at Aldi, but I forgot to pick up a tissue box at Aldi. And then by the time I got to... Um, by the time I got to Woolworths, they didn't have it. Hello, Deborah. How were your fireworks? Yes, yeah, so much better than a napkin. Because napkins take... A whole lot more. Hmm. I am thinking, I am thinking, just bear with my thinking here. I'm wondering, now this is the old design of our 6x6 six six colour collection paper, but... I'm thinking, excuse me, Owen, I'm on a live video and we don't need to hear that language. Sorry. Thank you. He was swearing at the computer game. I don't know if you heard it, but I kind of... So I could use either the squares or the drops just under here because I think... That would work really, really well, just cutting it. Or I could even use it as a whole strip across. Although this card does need a titch of trimming. So let's do that first. And then I can get to where I need to be. So... So that's a full centimetre. If I take off another 
half a centimeter and I will do some extra matting and I'll take off half a centimeter and then that just cuts off some extra bits that I don't necessarily they they weren't working I know I've got this mist stamping here but it definitely will be covered up okay so I am going to do some committing here just so I've got this whole piece that's very easy to move around because I'm very happy for it to be on And Jamie, my Winker Stellas at the moment are just flowing way too much. So they're turning into a globby mess when I want to use them. And my live stream replay video. We are on a purple theme. This is a baby card for my neighbour who may be in labour right now, but I am... Not totally sure we're awaiting the arrival of her baby girl okay so then see that looks better with this just yes just trimming it down half a centimeter on each side or a quarter of an inch just worked Please don't tell me I've lost that. So, I'm actually thinking that I may just ground her with a little bit of, yes, just that off there. that definitely needs to go on that side and I'll have some I think I've got some purple pearls let me just check what size I may want that thinking a centimeter and a half ah yes I could that that is true Jamie that is true What's a stamp? Sorry, Jamie, what do you mean, what's a stamp? Oh, it's a stamp. This was the card that I originally did. Sorry, yes, it's a stamp. So this is the original card, and I went over it because this was way too bright. I went over it with white ink to mute it because I still wanted to use the piece. Um, yes, it's a stamp. I love this stamp. And I wanted to prove that it's not just a masculine style of stamp. Because it's not. Okay. I'm trying to catch up. I missed a lot. Thank you. I think it's a bit fun. Yes, probably. I say probably because I'm not committed yet. Um, I think I need mini dimensionals. And I don't. Oh, I'm running out of my dimensionals left, right, and centre at the moment. Oh, that's too big. But I have previously cut this down but what I think I might do is cut a very thin strip off the edge here let me check a little bit longer and the reins are back Marge the reins are back okay I never expected to use my um, purple butterflies today, but hey, there you go. So, 
using a very thin strip here, not a titch too long. So I'll just knock that back a little bit. Come on. Snip. There you go. Right. Take that backing off. And thinking this side is really nice. No, that is so not straight. Lucky it's only placed down is all I can say. I'm still not happy with that. I cannot line it up on this side. I think I need to do this side. I think that is much better. Much, much, much better. Okay, trim the trimmer in. Now I think if I trim it down there, she'll be fine. That's pretty even on both sides. I think I chose a very, very nice. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jenny. Oh, good. I hope you get this set as well. Though there's a lot of purple going on here. A lot. But anyway. This piece just wants to keep grabbing. Actually, it does work really well to round her on there. Or do I want to? I'm kind of now thinking I may want this off to the right because then we've got a diagonal effect. I need to make the commitment of... Because if she sits up a bit, that still works. Because you're not seeing the circle behind her. And then if I do that, she's sitting right on there. Although it looks... A, okay, I'm just going to make a commitment and then I can slide things in from there because keep an eye on the time just using stamp and seal for this because I do not want to buckle um, my vellum circle okay so I kind of want her up as high as I can go and as left as I can go as well. Okay, so there we go for her. I'm going to grab some of my wet glue here. Just going to, as I have the shakes, but anyway, just going to slide this into place about there. So Jamie's idea one big time, grounding her on there. And then because I've got this glue out, probably way more glue than what I needed but and I know this 
mum isn't really a glittery mum, which is why I'm kind of resisting uh, putting on some glitter because she's not that she's not that person at all. Jeez, I did well with all the ink I got on myself. Is that going to stick down? Okay, so there for our inside. So we have our card front. And how's that looking? That looks cute. I like it. The purple paper. The retired. No, this is the retired. Um, it is the retired 6x6 colour collection of the Subtles. So every year they come out with different patterns um, of the colour collections. So this just happens to be retired, um, but I did keep them to use for these instances. Okay, so kind of don't want to use any more purple, you know, but I'm thinking we can mat this on some smoky slate because it is just the most perfect neutral I am wondering although this is really really bodgily cut no that is exactly the same width so that is not helpful I really am happy I chose to use the dancing hippo because her sister dances every Saturday morning. She's the cutest little dancer. So I thought um, the hippo would work really, really well because they're a bit of a dancing family. So if I go nine and a half, and then I'll just pop it on a thick Whisper White card base. And then I can stamp her name on the inside when I know what her name is. Okay, but I think I will still um, put the butterfly in and stamp the other coordinating sentiment in here. Righty got this. Add some glue. Um, for my cardstock Amazon, I will link it in the description uh, when I am finished the video. So I know this is going to work perfectly. And it's just going to be that perfect grounding neutral to bring it all together. So however much I really, really, really want to use more purple, I'm restraining myself because sometimes less is more. I know. I know what you're thinking, Ellen. You need more is more. I'm playing less is more right now. And then I have my card base. And then this just goes on to that. So just more white to ground all those beautiful colors. Because we've used a lot of color, I'm very glad I used the white craft ink and the blending brush to mute down those previously stamped sun rays. Um, if you're meaning the 6x6 paper,
No, I didn't. I got low battery, Jamie. No call, low battery. So we're going to plug in. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can wrangle this cord out of the way. Let's see if I come back. Tell me when I am back, people. Let me just go here. Ah, <clears throat> uh, I am back. Yay! <gasps> no! This is why we have card inserts. And this is why I always have a stash of them ready to stamp on. <laughs> No, that is not going to be helpful. La, la, la. Although, I must admit, I'm enjoying the smell of the stays on right now. Okay, card insert. To the rescue. I'm back. Yes, sorry. I, um, I had low battery. Didn't even realise. So, add it in the So Tiny, So Precious. I will be using the Alphabest for her name on the inside. And that will finish off the card. But, I think all these butterflies I've got, however much they... Although, that one... That one's a they're just a bit big for what I'm kind of after. That one may work. And these are just things I had around. So I will keep this with what I've got. So these can sit on the inside um, and cover that up because no one saw what I did there. It didn't happen. And we were going to look... For. Now, I do have these, oh, see, I'm thinking iridescent rather than, um, I'm thinking iridescent because, yes, there is too much purple and I've already got three big hits of purple on this. No butterflies. Although, I, um, no. See, that's very, very light purple. So that's actually fresh freesia. Um, got plain pearls. Okay, so I've got my iridescent rhinestones. Or I have... Okay, put these. So I have my purple pearls, which I think are too much. Yes, David, I know. My iridescent rhinestones or the in colour. I love that David just comes to the door and I know what he's saying. It'll only take us 15 minutes. Ah, yay! You can really see me. Yeah, oops. I know. And I've still got another appointment. Okay, so tell me. I, I think I want to use the iridescent because it'll kind of bring everything together but these opals are rather cute no resist the urge look if you want to use purple the pastel pearls or the in color opal rounds will work but i'm going iridescent going 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 iridescent da -da -da -da. if i can find my ah oh, damn Okay. Oh, iridescent. Right. Okay. Yeah, when I show you iridescent, you go, oh, they've got colour and they've got sparkle. Okay. Do, 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 do. So, one down here. And then, come on, get on. 
stop playing nicely. And one here. I do have more, so don't stress that they don't appear. Or oh, that looks like. No, that does not look flattering at all. That looks a little better. And then I kind of want one up here. One or two. One. No, maybe I want a bit closer to her face. One and... Hmm... A medium yes the iridescent ones are so gorgeous Lorraine have you purchased any yet and and just tuck under there so it's there but it's not there and what I want to do is now that this is dry, I want to pop this up a little bit. So besides that popping out, this is what we actually came up with. So I will very, very, very quickly pull in everything that we used. And this is going to be left in a pigsty. So, we used the free Hippiest Hippos, well, Hippiest Hippos dies that you can earn for free. And in celebration, I think they are the first, are they the first? They are the first. So, the Hippiest Hippos and the Hippo dies. So, you can earn... Um, with a $90 order. So if you ordered $180, you could redeem both of these. So we've got that. We've got the hippo dies. We used the sentiment silhouettes to cut our charming sentiments sentiment. <laughs> the background is one previously that I used the rays of light on. And do you know what? I need to do that. So that, I didn't stamp it today, but if you look up my bottled happiness card, you will find me stamping that background. So that is the card, and we used the iridescent rhinestones, which are just a gorgeous. So you need five packs of these in your stash. So it takes you a very, very long time to run out of them. But yes, that's what we use. So I do have a card ready for when this little girl arrives and I can add her name to the inside and deliver it across the road. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for persevering with my audio issues at the start. Come back and join me on Thursday. Um, I will be making something else equally as gorgeous as this. Maybe we might do a different tact. Um, but yes, I loved using my use it up box bits, which is where this butterfly came from. And that butterfly comes from, if I can find my eyes on the set, the Butterfly Brilliant set. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful couple of days. If it is raining where you are, please stay safe. And I will see you then. Bye.